Hey everybody, it's Bill Owen. I'm back. Yes, it's been a long time since I've done a video tutorial. This one is a classic, modifying your front PC bezel for better airflow to help cool your CPU and GPU. Now this bezel is off the Corsair 200R and we sell the modified version on mmpctech.com. Looks like this and I'm going to show you how to do it yourself because that's what I'm all about. Right Jacques? Cameraman? We have to do everything ourselves. And tell us in the comments what kind of projects or builds are you working on because it's always fun to hear that. So anyways, here we go. Now you can get this template from MMPC Tech. It's a 240 with the 15 millimeter spacing between the screws. Jacques, Jacques I'm doing something that I haven't done. Actually measuring? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, um, I'm not putting masking tape because I've done a pile of these today, so I pretty much got it down without wrecking it. Otherwise, I suggest using like a, a masking tape over here if you've never done it before so you don't scratch up anything. Sure. So that's just an FYI. I've been working on these all day, and we're sneaking in the last one as a video tutorial with Jacques. So I'll just center this up. Just giving you the basic idea again, using a center punch. Just go around. And Jacques, why would you buy drill bits that are designed for plastic versus using regular drill bits? Uh, just because you'll leave a, a smoother bore and a less violent exit wound. And why is that? Because a blunt bit will take and actually uh, stretch the material uh, to the point where it twists and it'll crack. That's why when you use the regular drill bit, to like put a hole in acrylic or plastic, it cracks on you, right? Well, you want to use these type of bits with a very, very sharp point to them. Um, go with these and they're actually made for plastic. Otherwise, you can find them on Amazon. Just look for drill bits for plastic, okay? Now, to find the center, you use a wire fan grill guard. Just lay this over the template and this will give you your center, okay? Right? Yeah, and if you have nothing like this, obviously measuring from the screw holes that you had put in previously, you just do equal distance or across, drawing across for, through all of them and you'll get the same center point. And another option that you have is you can just Google MNPC Tech templates and that should bring up the page where I've got a variety of PC cooling fan sizes and radiator fan hole templates that you can print out for free and just use that as your guideline on the top of your PC case, the front, the side panel, or wherever you need PC cooling fan holes. Now, the next step is I'm gonna do a pilot hole with this 3 16 inch drill bit. And I just use my hand with the gloves to line it up. You see how clean that hole is using this drill bit? Drill bit for plastic. So these are my pilot holes, all right? Now, next step, going to the hole saw on the drill press. Now, I know everybody doesn't have a drill press or access to one. You can use a cordless drill or power drill. This is, I suggest, a minimum 18 volt cordless drill so you got the torque. Now. This is a technique in my very first video ever on YouTube, which is at one and a half million views, I think. That's crazy. Uh, use a box under the piece that you're cutting so it collects all the debris. And this hole saw measures four and a half inches. Check this out, Jock. What's, what's that on there? The anti-Apple logo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. Yes. Yes, it is. It's a necessity for all hole saws. By the way, in order to use a hole saw, you just can't walk into a store, hardware store or whatever, buy a hole saw alone. You need to use an arbor as well. That holds the hole saw. And once you get an arbor, you can use different size hole saws. So just an FYI. And there's a video I did many years ago all about hole saws. Actually, I'll put a link. <laughs> what was that? So here we go. No. 
It burns! See, this is why I'm wearing gloves. Wear gloves, people. Because you get this like plastic booger action going on here from the hole saw. It's totally normal. I just kind of brush some off the sides here. What we're going to do is we're going to get to that later. Just wanted to show you that. Be careful putting this back under that we don't scratch since I didn't use tape. What do you think so far, Jacques? It's pretty perfect. Let's see. Okay. It burns! Jacques's not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's terrible. <laughs> All right, so we got the plastic boogers. This is where the gloves come in. I know what you're thinking. It looks like ass, Bill. Yes, it does. It looks awful, but we're going to clean it up. Trust me. What do you think? I sell to people looking like this? Are you crazy? And, and most ah. of the things that we do start out looking rough, and that's perfectly acceptable. And I think that's one of the things that a lot of people have fear around is like, oh, I started this. This looks terrible. It looks and awful. <laughs> it always starts out that way. So, but it's just about how much time and detail you put into it, getting those rough edges back down to smooth, and how you dress it up after the fact. What is this, Jacques? Bastard. Profiled. I don't know. The words are escaping me. <laughs> Obviously, it's a file, but it's a profiled file. <clears throat> it's a uh, one-sided, rounded side bastard, I think they call it. All right, so I still have my uh, pilot holes. Do you have a mod or a build you're working on or planning to? Post the details in the comments. The build that I'm working on of Jacques is pretty amazing. Some never seen before mods, which may explain why it's taking so long. But we're taking our time with it and it's going to be a video build series once it's finished and I've got a couple projects of my own that I'm working on one is a tribute to Mad Max I've been wanting to do for many years all right so Uh, on MMPC Tech, what we do is, this is actually, there's paper backing on this grill, but we take the paper backing off, and then uh, it includes two honeycomb perforated grills that are pre-installed. So, you get the idea. So that's really all I wanted to share is, that's how easy it is to just Drill some ventilation holes in the front of your case with your bezel. You can do that to steel as well. Um, you can get four and a half inch hole saws, hardware store, Amazon, home improvement stores. Make sure you get an arbor. I'll post a video of my overview on hole saws for different size cooling fans that I did many years ago. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for supporting MMPC Tech. And again, let us know in the comments what's going on. And uh, Jacques and I are going to get to the build that he has been helping Brittany put together for a Twitch gaming channel. All right. See you guys.